hello, 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 <clears throat> hello, Kirst, hello, JP, hello, Bunny right behind me. Hello. <laughs> I'm doing the intro here because I'm in the middle of upgrading my PC right now, and <clears throat> I don't want to have to worry about making a new intro template until the June episode. So I'm doing it right now. I'm doing it here. This is Soul Void. And we're going to jump right to it. Da, 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 da. Boom. G Game Boy style indies need the strong strongest of PCs. They certainly do. They certainly do. So I feel terrible that I am streaming this game on my old crappy PC that's about to be that's going to be unplugged tomorrow. Hopefully I can make it through. Now, if uh, if it sounds too loud, er, just let me know. I, I have no way of knowing or telling unless I'm actually editing the episode. So please, let me know how I sound. Can I be heard? Can the music be heard? Look how loud I have to say! Shut up! And, <clears throat> and speaking of the maybe portable theme, here with us is the one that came up with the maybe portable theme, Sporadic Erratic. Hi, Rachel! Hi, Rachel. Hello! Yes, if you Let want... Yeah, oh, that's right. It's also her, her early birthday. So happy birthday, Rachel. Rachel says she can hear you. Yay! But yeah, you want someone to thank for giving us this very innovative theme for the community game along? Go thank Sporadic Erratic and tell her happy birthday as well. Happy birthday. <clears throat> and she says hi. Okay. Corbin says hi too. Okay, we're going to begin this... We're going to begin this game. Please let me know how everything sounds. My birthday is in four days, so happy early birthday then. Yeah. I'm going to close Chrome because that doesn't need to be open right now. Okay. New game. Actually, there. I'm going to move this right here. I do not know anything about this game other than the screenshots and the clips that Rachel has played. She's, it was her theme, so I wanted to play the game that she was playing around the time she came up with this idea. So, oh boy, another one. Yeesh. What is that? Like, ten in one day? Man. So, uh, uh hey, welcome to the void. You shouldn't be here, but you probably figured that out by now, huh? Look, look, I'm just a greeter. You know, I, I, can't, I can't send you back. So, you might as well hippity hop through the light behind me and, and get a head start on, uh, well, something, probably. It's your journey, not mine, but uh, you seem kind of different from the usual souls I see come through here. So maybe, maybe you'll have better luck than the others. Ha, good luck. I'm rooting for you. He just wants to, they just want to tell me good luck. They're all counting on me. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah. So, for some reason, the stream chat wasn't loading. I, I see you, CC Takato. Hi. <clears throat> but it, it was showing up on the, the, the screen, but it wasn't showing up on OBS for some reason. <clears throat> I have really been enjoying Game Boy style modern games, so I'm super hyped y'all are enjoying the, them this month too. Oh yeah, there's been there's been excitement about this theme for for a while now. We are we we're all we we're all hyped for this. I am good. At the beginning I, I at the beginning I mentioned that this was Teacher Appreciation Week and I had a bunch of parents uh, spoil me with yummy foods. So I'm having a good time. We, the helpers, are trying to help out with handling all the new souls. Hence, uh, hence the name. His name is Hence. Their name's Hence. So here's a little tip to help you out. Pro tip. It might be worth talking to people twice. They might have something more to say, or they might not. 
Won't know unless you try, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you twice. People around here can be quite chatty, especially with outvoiders. It's not often that we get visitors from the outside, as you can imagine. Though, I've noticed, I've noticed some people can get us stuck talking in a loop. We, the helpers, are trying to help out with... Wait, oh, we already read this. Okay. But yeah, all is good. Psst. Psst, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, hey, got a hot tip for you before you head out. Press Q or start to bring up a nifty little menu. Might help you out if you're feeling a little stuck or sluggish. Huh? What, 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 I'm, what I'm saying doesn't make any sense. Uh, you'll get used to it around here. Q. Um. Well, I didn't hit Q. I hit enter. Uh... Okay. There's a bunch of discarded letters inside. There's nothing inside. Fear closed until further notice. Please don't disturb those in the water. Well, guess what? I'm gonna disturb those things in the water. Stack your crates. Stack your crates still. I want to disturb the things in the water. What do you do with a drunken sailor? What to do with a drunken sailor? What to do, wait for it, with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Throw him over the bow and drown him. Throw him over the bow and drown him. Throw her in the drown him early in the morning. I'm singing. Yeah, I know, I know it. It just took me a second to think about it. Whoa. It's Big Daddy. Ah, a new soul arrives. But it is strange. You wonder, yet you are not lost. You have not fallen from Charon. Char it's a Charon or Karen. Charon or Karen. The boat guy. The dead boat guy. C H A R O N. K Karen. I'm gonna go with Karen. <laughs> Nor slipped out. I'd say that or Char. Char? Char. <laughs> Karen. Thank you, CC, for confirming what I speculated. Nor slipped out of death's embrace. How did you get here, little one? You should seek the town beyond. Perhaps someone there can help you. Can I talk to you again? Stay safe, little one, and be at peace. Okay. Assortment of random utensils inside. I'm scared, it's so dark here. Someone told me I'd be okay if I just kept going forward. But there's nothing out there! What if I get lost? These flowers seem much safer. Maybe I'll follow them instead. Okay, we already went through this. So fo follow the flowers, how about... I'll just do this. I feel sick, it's so cold here, but I can't stop sweating. Do you think I'm gonna be okay? Uh, maybe. I don't... Now I feel dizzy. Maybe I should just sit down for a bit. Maybe you need to drink some water, dude. I see a heart. Cold, so cold. Aren't you cold? It's freezing out here, isn't it? Why'd you go that way? A broken heart. You can hear a faint humming from inside. Oh, oh this is a safe point. It's dark. Okay. Literally dark. But I'm gonna go down here. Can I disturb the, the water people? This 
This sprite seems to have something in its mouth, but it refuses to give it to you. Perhaps you can find something in a crate to make a trade. Okay. How is it even floating? I don't know, you tell me. Dry but empty. Hey, don't mind me. Just chillin'. Okay, you're just chillin' like a villain? Okay. Rusty coins. Hey, 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 sing down here. Do you want the rusty coins? It chews for a second, then spits out a ring in your hand. Silver ring. Oh, damn. <laughs> I'm so used to silver rings taking much more effort than that, you know, from the Zelda games. Wait. Could I have always gone in the water? I'm gonna... I'm gonna go back for a second. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go back over here. Nope, guess not. Maybe it was just a down here then. But hey, I got something. I, I, maybe it's important. I don't know. Whoa! I see you. I see eyes. Oh God! Don't look at me! Don't look at me! Stop it! Please don't look! Please don't look! Please don't look! This this room is kind of trippy. Can I talk to any of you? Surely I can talk to one of you. Don't look, don't look. Oh, I knew it. Hideous, hideous. The eyes, they judge. Don't look at me, don't look at me. That's, there's nothing in here. I don't believe it. But I'm gonna have to. Oh yeah, it's too dark over there. Uh, I think I can go up here. Look at this. A lot of lost souls have been going into the swamp water and refusing to leave. I don't know. I don't know why they're so compelled to do that. I mean, look, I enjoy a nice swim every now and then, but staying in there for days, weeks? I get pruny after just an hour. Well, that's your problem. I see something. There seems to be a lost boy chicken wandering around. I'm going to call you Lost Void Nuggets. You have the strangest urge to take it with you. I got the Void Nugget! Yay! Town's just over this way, right? Or is it back where, where it came from? Hmm. I think it was different a different way, but these flowers. I just wanted to see where they lead. Well, I'm going to keep looking around. Who are you? I said, who are you? I'm not lost, technically. Just out for a walk. Yeah. That's clucked up, ain't it, JP? I know exactly where I am. I swear, it's a... Um, oh, so I'm talking to Ryoga right now. Ah! <laughs> I'm glad you, to see you've made it. This place has been filled with so much sadness. Don't swear that sailor talk. No, no that's technically dolphin talk. Anger, confusion, it's delicious! <laughs> Welcome to the void, girly. We're gonna have so much fun. Can I go? Can I go the other way? I, I, uh, whether you want to or not. Yeah. I. I yeah. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go that way. I'm just. Uh, yeah. 
a little unsettling, but... Yeah, okay. The sprite snaps at your hand. No, I don't, don't do that. Please do not beat the sprites. The sprite sticks its tongue out. Yeah. I stick it out. I stick it back at you. These sprites are harmless, but they do unnerve me a bit. Well, you should check out the eye room. That this is nothing compared to the eye room, and they're kind of rude. The sprite burps. Thank you for letting me know that. Oh, hey. I didn't think we'd see anyone else out here. We're collecting void flowers. They mostly grow around here. And I always make sure to pick a few to bring back to town. Here, you can have this one, too. I got a void flower. Okay. Hee <laughs> Flowers are great, aren't they? Everyone deserves a nice flower. Welcome to Void National Park. Please don't feed the sprite wildlife. <laughs> Everyone deserves flowers. Everyone deserves nice things. So, nothing over here? Wait. Boys over flowers? Which version of Boys Over Flowers are we talking about? There's, a, there's a quite a few of them. Wait, do I... Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Do I have to go back to the... To Smiley up here? Uh, I don't want to. Not yet, anyway. Not until I save. Okay, go back. Let's check out Mr. Smiles again. The entrance is gone. Oh, never mind. Well, let's see how far we get here. Just give me a sign. Any kind of sign, please. Just one sign and I'll never ask for anything again, I swear! The distance between the swamp and the town isn't really that big, but to some it's overwhelming. Maybe they just need a little confidence boost. The dis okay. Have confidence? No confidence. all of you. I don't understand. I was stopped at the edge of town when I was trying to get these souls to safety. Why aren't they letting them through? At least I can house them here for now. Still, something about this doesn't sit right with me. They're sleeping. Best not to wake them. Who are you? So tired. I don't get why I'm here. I feel completely fine. There's our there's our mood of the day. So tired. Who are you? You know, this void isn't meant for the dead. Sometimes souls just get lost here on their way to wherever they go. There's not many of them around town or swamp, but be careful if you keep going east. The void's plenty weird itself, and the longer a soul stays here, well, you'll see what I mean. Uh, that's unsettling. Looks looks like they've been taking notes on their reading. But you know what? I survived the twisty little passages from Zork. I can, I can survive whatever is further east. I'm gonna go further east. Oh, the music's different.
Hey, you new here? You're not a lost soul, are you? Hmm. No, you're just an outvoider. You should probably go talk to the mayor. What do you do? What are you, you doing? In my soul swamp! Well, I'm, I'm gonna look through their stuff. It's a video game. What do you expect me to do with someone's box in an empty house? I think I heard, I heard, I heard my trash can talk. Am I going crazy? Can I talk to Oscar? Check all the bins you want. I'll never give you an item. I used to take walks to the swamp, but not anymore. I saw some lost soul that had turned into an eyeball. Freak me out, something fierce. I'm staying where it's safe. Here. If someone can turn into an eyeball of all things, who knows what other ways the void can twist them. Okay. I kind of wish there was more to do in town. I guess I'll just uh, walk around this grass patch for a while. Okay, you do that. Yeah, have fun with that. I am so entertained right now. <laughs> Are we not entertained? Okay, get back to work. Gotta be lurking. All right. Have fun, JP. Have fun with your work. Oh. Who are you guys? <laughs> the sprite gnashes its teeth. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? <laughs> the sprite snaps at you. <laughs> oh, hi. This looks weird, doesn't it? Listen, listen, they just showed up one day. Ate all of my furniture, my wallpaper, and my light bulb, too. But still, I can't bring myself to get rid of them. They're endearing in a way. Oh, wait, forgot to talk to you twice. Sprites aren't harmful, just a bit mischievous. So they're gremlins. Beep, beep. More peep peeps. Am house owner. Cheap cheap. Look at me. I'm human. Peep peep. <laughs> I work job. I read book. I cry when drop food on floor. Oh, it's me. Peep peep. It's... So so here's the soul of a bunny cartoon right right here apparently. This journal contains the personal musings of a bird. You can't read it, however, as all of the writing in some variation of the... Uh, as all, I'm sorry, let me do that again. As all of the writing is some variation of the words... Cheep, cheep. Mitty just calling Bunny out. No, nah, Bunny called herself out. She was the one that was like, oh, it me, it me. You probably shouldn't look through their stuff. I'm gonna look through your stuff. A plain and simple lamp. The shelves are packed with blank notebooks. See, I wouldn't have said anything if Bunny hadn't said it first. Oh my goodness. Hey, careful where you step. My wife's taking a nap. Yeah. Don't, uh, don't tell anyone she's here, okay? What are you, married to the girl in X that's connected to all the wires? The beast? More cheap cheap. Cheap cheap! See, that's it. Why is it talking? I'm gonna save again. Sometimes hand vines grow over the entrance to the 
beyond lands, the beyond lands, separating our town from it. It takes the scouts a bit of time to cut them down, but I don't mind. It's not like I'm going out there myself. The forest was here long before these lost souls arrived, but they certainly made it more interesting. You know what's weird? I don't remember when we elected our mayor or how long she's been in office. I guess she's doing a good job though, so whatever. Can't really remember how long this town's been around either. Hmm. I've got a feeling something real bad's gonna happen soon. Well, like, uh, worse than things are currently. I had to sneeze. Nobody needed to hear that. Except Bunny. This small vase holds a void flower. Game, stop telling me not to look through, through people's personal belongings. Mayor's Arf Office, North, Farm, East, Beyond Lands, Further East, Swamp, West. I'm here to see Mayor Dewey. Oh, can I talk to you again? Looking for the mayor? Okay. Oh, what could the mayor possibly look like? Okay. Hello there, I assume you're the newcomer? Word travels fast around here, and you've quite... You've caused quite the buzz. As the mayor, I welcome you to our town. I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but unfortunately, I don't think I can answer them. We're still not sure why souls are drifting here, let alone an outvoider like you. All we know is that eventually lost souls turn into something terrible. Something not like themselves. It's been some time since they showed up, and some are still normal, but... Many leave town to seek answers. I wish I could say they moved on, but we know that's not the case. We have outposts, outposts, ah, outposts, outposts in the Beyond Lands, and our scouts bring back horrific news. The Beyond Lands have become a dangerous place, and some locals have started calling it the Soul Void. We have a title. We have a title, everybody. Yay! We did it! Happy Teacher Appreciation to me! We have a title! Ahem. Given the lost souls that wander through its shifting darkness, it is my job first and foremost to keep my people safe. So I've forbidden any non-approved persons from going into the Beyond Lands. But... If you wish to find a way home, the soul void... Hey, title again! Two! The Soul Void might be the only way to go. You're welcome to stay here, but I'm... I understand if you decide to leave town, look for our outposts if you need the guidance. Perhaps they can help you more than I. Actually, I have a question for you. There's, there's a soul... There's a soul you should be aware of. Our scouts call it... The Grim. A giant horrible face with teeth and white eyes. Oh, I've seen... I've actually met Mr. Grim. It seems to carry malicious intent, so be sure to stay away for, from it if you see it. Uh, wait, you've, you've already seen it? But if you came from the swamp, that means... Oh, that's quite worrying. It, it's never been that close before. Thank you for letting me know. Be careful out there. But yeah, I have a question for you. Why does the game keep telling me not to look through other people's belongings? Nope, still empty, punk. A painting of an important looking figure. It looks like it could be the previous mayor. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go to the Beyond Lands. I don't care what you guys say. Oh wait, the farm. This is the farm, then it's the Beyond Lands. All of the town's food is grown on this here farm. We got void cows, void pigs, void chickens, void fruit, void veggies, void... Uh... We got a lot of stuff that starts with void. All the town's food... Okay, we got cow... Okay.
You awkwardly hold out the chicken you found and ask if it's their hen. My stars, yes! Come here, Henrietta, you little scamp. Where did you find her? She was all the way out in the swamp? I can't believe she made it that far. Thank you for bringing her back to me. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. Last week, another hen of ours escaped into the grasping forest. I found her pecking at some sort of weird statue out there. The thing gives me the creeps, honestly. But more importantly, I need to figure out how, how our hens keep escaping. Okay, we already read that. Block, block! There's, there is not a single thought rattling in Henrietta's head. So it's just like talking to Corbin. No, really. There must be a better way to store items indoors than crates. Boy, I sure do love my job. I get my own little post here, and the work is super easy. Keeping townsfolk si safe at home, and keeping the undesirables out. Yep, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, we were at that already? Alright, buddy, you're all clear. Hope you know what you're in for. Yep, I, I totally know what I'm in for. They said while the music suddenly shifts to something extremely ominous. <laughs> is this the this is the Grim about to talk to me? No, yeah, this is, yep, the Grim. I was just about to say that is the Grim's music, I remember it now. So you are going into the Soul Void all by yourself. What do you think you'll find? Help? A way home? The answers you seek? Well guess what? Many have tried before you, and they all failed. Yeah! So go ahead and try, girly. Try and fail, and try and fail. Emphasis on fail. I can't wait to watch you stumble, fall, wither, and rise. Go to the lockout there, girly. Yeah! Oh, jeez. This forest has hands. Maybe the eyeball room would be more like Bloodborne. I want, I want, I want. I now, now it's now it's a Bloodborne room. I want, I want, I want. It looks like a scout placed a sign in front of this statue. Lost souls who gather in the grasping forest are known as Thorned. They are non-hostile entities and once fully transformed, they seem to wander in a haze, barely aware of their surroundings. Though they pose no threat, it's best to leave them alone. Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch you. You lean in to inspect the statue further. To your surprise, you can hear shallow breathing. Oh my God. The mood in this game just shifted quite drastically. W where am I? I'm not lost, am I? I can't be lost, right? No, 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 of course not. I I'm not a lost soul. I've lived here my whole life. Haven't I? Hey. Hey, you. It's a hand vine that's escaped from the ground. Oh, you're watching now? Ah. Uh, so you so you see you see the Adams family's pet here, right? Okay. Huh? You say you came from town and the Grim caught you and threw you out here? That's rough, buddy. I already got my hands full trying to hack down these vines, so just uh stay put, I guess, and try not to go crazy like these guys. Yeah, I'd say you got your, um, hands full around here. Us scouts are trying to map out the new areas that have popped up in the Beyond Lands. 
And we're trying to keep those these lost souls uh, docile, I guess? Until we know how to deal with them. We haven't been entirely successful. Ugh, crap. Which way do I go? Which way do I go? Which way do I go? I'm gonna go left. Oh. Something's not right. Clearly something is not right. What part of this is right? It's a familiar heart. You pick it up for safekeeping. Obtain a familiar heart. It's a broken statue with an off-putting aura. It has a low humming frequency coming from its chest. You think you hear strange whispers coming from it, but you can't make out any words. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 stop. It's having fun antagonizing the poor soul. Huh? There's something down here. Hand finds, block your way. Okay. Never mind. Can't have it. Can't have it. Not enough. It's not enough. You're not enough. I'm not enough. It's just minding its own business. Is that all it's doing? No, wait a minute. This isn't Bloodborne. This is... This is more like Elden Ring with... You know those areas with the hands that attack you? The jump scare hands? No one cares, just give up. Nothing matters, just just go back. Life is hard, keep pushing forward. The sprite looks at you with interest. Suddenly, its cheeks puff up, and it spits a, a letter out at you. It must have picked up the letter up in the swamp. Perhaps the envelope had been thrown in the water in a last-ditch attempt to deliver it. You received a waterlogged note, and you dry it off as best as you can. It's addressed to the first outpost. The fir first outpost, huh? I gotta remember that. The first outpost. Oh, Big Daddy, remember me, little one? I am, I am a part of the void, bound to its waters that nonsensically flow through the land. I know this to be true, little one. The soul void, hey, another one, not all torturous. It pulls from the heart, the mind, the soul. It sees the good, the bad, but it often feels as if the bad stays longer than the good in our minds. So the void takes from it more easily. Do not forget the good, little one. Hold on to the light. I will not lose myself. I will not lose myself. I will not lose myself. I will not lose my... You just lost yourself, but... No, that, that scared me a little bit. Well, this is unexpected. An outvoider, a human. A human, but not a lost human soul. Oh, this isn't very good, is it? The stranger mutters something and writes a note in his book. Pardon me, let me introduce myself. I've forgotten my real name, so you can call me the Seeker. 
I seek answers, just like you. More importantly, I'm trying to help the others, like... I, I mean, the lost souls around here. Okay, you are sus. I've been doing some research on this place. It's residents and it's displaced souls. So most of my time is spent here. Again in the soul void! It's an odd, unsettling place, but I endure it for my research. You see, I have a theory, and... Would you mind if I put a hand on your shoulder? Uh, what? No, no. No, I don't want you to put your hand on my shoulder. Through contact, I can read emotions that you might not even be aware of. Doing this could validate my theory and my worst fears. After a second of hesitant thought, you've given... I don't want your hand on me! The seeker places a hand... Gen I don't want this! Almost immediately, his eyes grow wide, grow wide with shock. Oh! Oh no, I'm, I'm so sorry! I understand why you're here now. How you're here! This is bad. This is very bad. I, okay, alright, listen to me. If we work together, we can... Grim. Not so fast, Seeker! You've been a thorn in my side ever since you showed up! I've entertained your pathetic research for long enough. It's time I forced you to give up. And you, girly. I'm not done with you yet. We've barely even started. So play dates over, you worms. Say goodbye. <laughs> Ellipses? The hell? Oh, thank goodness you're awake. One of our one of our scouts found you while he was clearing away some hand vines. I'd escort you back to town, but the vines have grown too thick over the path. Even we can't cut through them. I think you might be stuck here for a while. We all might be. At the very least, take some time to rest up here. Do I know the Seeker? I've seen him out in the the SV a few times, always writing in those books of his. He left one of he left one in this outpost, but I haven't looked through it. With how often he goes out there, I'm afraid his his notes carry like deep void curse vibes. His hat is pretty neat, though. I'll give him that. It wants to help too. Do you... do you think hand vines feel pain? Because the sap they ooze kind of looks like blood. Actually, I'm just gonna pretend I never noticed that. Well, you just said it, so that's all I'm gonna think of from now. Oh, hi. Mom and Dad must be worried sick. Huh? You have something for me? Do I? Oh. Oh, it was for you. Okay, yeah, yeah, I have a letter for you. Apparently. Ha! Ah, of course Mom would be concerned that I'm not eating enough. And Dad says he's proud of me for keeping the town safe. I'm glad to see they haven't forgotten about me out here. I hope I can see them again soon. Thank you for giving me this. Thank you. Uh, I'm exhausted. Can't get a, get a wink of good sleep out here. I keep seeing the grim face in my dreams, too. That's probably not a good sign. No, that is not. That is absolutely not a good sign. Oh, I forgot to look in this one. That was fulfilling. I might be a bird, but I can also be a scout. Also, cheep cheep! The scouts are inside sleeping. Best not to disturb them. So, nothing else here? Okay, I'm out. See ya. Oh, we're... Okay, we're back here. I just... I just want... Something pretty. Is that so bad? Why can't I feel pretty? Where have I... Where have I heard that line from? You offer... You offer the soul your void flower. For, for me, really? So pretty. Never felt pretty before. So nice. Thank you. Oh, more, more paths open. So... 
the... Hold on. Okay. Let me... Let me go this way first. Actually, let me... Let me go this way. Okay. Just wanted to make sure... This way. Pit, pit, pit. Oh, we got a fight pit down here? Eat the rich, praise the pit! There's an old, old portable CD player sitting in the corner. Inside is a CD with the words Pit Mania scribbled on it. Play the CD? Okay. Should we play the CD called Pit Mania? The pit is the pitizens are sent into an even higher state of frenzy. <laughs> it's always nice to hear some different music every now and then. The pit is our freedom, sheep, sheep! Pit, pit, and I cannot stress this enough. Pit! Join the pit! May the pit guide us! Blessed be the pit! I generally have no major complaints about the pit! Pit is love! Pit is life! Pit for president! Well, Pit would be a better president than our options right now. I don't even know anything about the Pit, but yeah. May the Pit be with you. <laughs> even, even Chad is getting in on the frenzy. Should we turn off the music? No, we're gonna keep the music on. Can we actually jump into the pit, though? You have a strange desire to jump in the pit. Almost as if it's calling to you specifically. No, not yet. Let me check out down here first. Itchy, itchy. Itchy tasty? Uh, tasty, tasty! No! <laughs> no! No! No, no! No, itchy, tasty! I was just joking! Do, do, do you know how to get back to town? I, I shouldn't be here. Should I, should I be here? No, I shouldn't. I'm normal. I'm fine. None of you are fine. Ah, uh, jeez. You can't talk any sense into these guys. What's worse is that I can't tell if there's mutated lost souls or just something the Beyond Lands spit out naturally. It's hard to tell these days. Must plant more hand vines. I miss vine. Must pull more hand vines. Well, music's different. You obtained a discarded tooth. Hey, this is the this is the mo more normal than a lot of the shit I've seen here. A broken heart. Okay, save. 
passing through the enamel core. Can't say I envy you. These mouth gates are nasty, but it's the only way to get out, get around here. They're harmless, though, like these chomper souls. We've been coming up with names for the souls who group together. Chomper, Thorn, Drench. It's interesting to see how they decide which part of the void to reside in, and how they mutate based on their environment. Or how the environment changes in response to them. Ah, but maybe I'm being a bit crass. Every one of those every one of those souls you see used to be a coherent outvoider, a person like you and me. It's easy to forget that. Teeth, 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 teeth. Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. Alright then, let's check out. Teeth hurt, teeth hurt, teeth hurt so bad! Get some Sensodyne, why don't ya? <laughs> you get used to the taste of nerve and enamel after a while. Give it a try, or better yet, give me your pearly whites! <laughs> I found another tooth. My teeth keep falling out all over the floor. Grow back, fall out, grow back, fall out. Teeth, teeth, they're good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you... And I can't remember the rest. Ugh. You smell like burning bone and saliva. Oh, my head feels fuzzy. My teeth feel fuzzy? Not like fuzzy fuzzy, but static. It's hard to concentrate. I'm sorry. Who are you? Don't want this. Don't want this. Not home. Not the right home. Stomp the nerve grass! Stomp, stomp, stomp! Stomp the nerve grass! Let me go in here. So, so, oh, this is the third tooth I found. My tooth, my tooth, not yours, mine. Finders, keepers, losers, snoozers. But maybe, maybe I sell tooth? Maybe for a right price, give me two void flowers, eight shiny coins, 16 bees, 27 more bees, and five chicken nuggets. For each of my bees. Except nothing else. Please? Okay, I accept. You drive a hard bargain. <laughs> See? Using your manners is good. It pays to use your manners. Uh, sorry, that one's taken. Let me go down here. It looks like a scout place to sign here. Chompers are mischievous yet friendly souls who appear to be much more lucid than their thorn counterparts. Most are fixated on eating or teeth in general, and exist in a slightly manic state. Hand vines shouldn't be here. They're stealing all the teeth! Stupid grubby hands! Another tooth. Yet another tooth. Was that six now? I grew these teeth for you. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. Seven. 
Blech. I tried to eat that book, but the pages cut my tongue. Blech. I want to eat it. Offering to help these lost souls, the lucid ones at least, has yielded a wide variety of results. Some start to cry and won't stop. Some adamantly refuse to help and turn hostile. And others are stunned with fear, refusing to move. But I haven't had only bad reactions so far. I've been able to sensibly talk with the few, and they express their desire to leave, to not lose th themselves to this void. This motivates me even more to figure out how to end our shared plight. There are people counting on me. I can't fall fail them, nor myself. The Seeker? Is that you? Oh. And another tooth. We're at eight now. A small campfire is burning, clearly. The mayor isn't going to like our report. There's definitely way more lost souls popping up out there, and the soul void seems to be expanding beyond what we have mapped out. That end, we lost contact with the third outpost. Hope the others are okay. Ugh, I hate having to grow, go through the mouth gates. I'd rather deal with the hand vines than use those nasty things at any day of the week. Man, you should see the root system under this place. <laughs> The tangle under the grasping forest ain't got nothing on our nerve bundles. Hey, sorry. I know you're not a scout, but could you help me out with something? There's a new mouth gate round here that won't open up. Says it has an upset stomach or something. I was ordered to give it this antacid, but I just kind of don't want to do it. Yeah, I know that feeling. Just pop this bad boy in if you come across it, okay? Sure. This is my last day here and I'm totally checked out already. I tried giving the tooth stalk seven teeth like it asked for, but it said I only had six. So I went out, picked up another one, and when I came back, the dumb thing said I only had three teeth. Really, where did it learn to count? Thankfully, there's some guy nearby who knows how to get past it. I think his name is Sam or something? You stand at the opening of the mouth gate, holding the giant pill in your hand. You pull back your arm as if you were pitching a baseball, and throw the pill into the darkness with all your might. After a short pause, a thunderous noise cuts through the relative silence, followed by a cheery thank you from the mouth. The passage opens. Oh, nope. Not yet. Let me check out over here first. What's this? If you wish to pass, I require an offering. Seven teeth. You have enough. Give them to me. You hold out the collected teeth, and spindly fingers reach out, reach down to take them from you. So what, what's in here? Oh! Nope. Uh, nope, but... I, I can't get out. Who would ever love you? You're disgusting. Why even show your face? They all make fun of you, you know. Purge your imperfections. change until they love you. You feel uncomfortable looking at this. What did I stumble into? How about you take a look at yourself in a mirror? You can't make me. I can! Oh, God! You idiot! What the hell did I do? Whoa. Where 
am I now? I feel like I missed something. Oh. Hmm, okay, interesting. So, do not touch. Got it. They're slumped over and unresponsive. Ew. I've noticed the strangest thing. The more I venture through the soul void, the more adapt I become at reading emotions. If I place a hand on a lost... Oh, it's Seeker. I can get a much clearer sense of their strife. No, this should only be done with clear consent from the lucid souls. I almost lost a finger attempting to read one of the more hostile ones. Perhaps with this newfound power, I can help them remember their death and hopefully come to terms with it. Perhaps that is the key to freeing these souls. Oh, thanks for stopping by, CC Takato. See you around. Perhaps it is the key to my own escape. Okay, thank you. What is? Oh, what a nice surprise. I had given up hope that I would ever see another sentient being. A sentient being. My name has long since been lost, so you may call me the waiting. Appropriate, I suppose, as I am w stuck here waiting. The other lost souls here have melted into the blood you weighed. Or congelated into the walls of flesh that surround us. I don't know why I didn't dissolve like the rest, but I wish I had. I'm connected to these vein tubes that pump their blood through me. This place! And it is very unpleasant. I'm immobile, stuck. Forced to wait until some sort of intervention either frees me or destroys me. Perhaps those are one and the same. Yikes. As far as I know, there are two major arteries that circulate blood through here. Perhaps if these arteries were severed, the blood flow would stop, and these vein tubes would finally let me sleep. Yes, sleep for a while. Okay, good to know. This place is not creepy at all. They re retch out a small glob of co coagulated blood. Ew. Oh, whoops. That. Stop it. That's a face. Warm air seeps from the opening. A word rumbles at the back of its throat. Girly. You can see a hint of something moving deep within. But the way is blocked by thick cords. Why me? Why me? <clears throat> ah, damn it. What's up here? Oh, 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 let me cut that. Let me cut it. I can, can I not do anything with it? Maybe I need to find something to hurt it with. A strange growth covers the exit. It looks sort of soft enough to cut through, but I can't cut through it apparently.
The figure in the wall has one eye open, but it carries no life behind its unblinking gaze. There's also a knife lodged deep in its gut. How convenient. Uneasily, you pull the knife out. Okay. That was very convenient. No, 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 no. Let me cut stuff for other stuff first. Like this. And there should be one more. This, maybe? Nope. leave here. Why would you want to leave anyways? There's nothing for you out there. You know this. Stay here where it's dark, where it's familiar. See? I think I missed out on something when I went into the room with the with all the reflections of me. Wait a minute. Suddenly, the left, the left bud the, stopped getting music. That was weird. Like I, I don't know. I, I'm kind of concerned that uh, something's gonna stop me from getting a good ending because I didn't fully explore that one room just yet. I hope I have a chance to revisit that area. But I'm not done in here. At least I don't think I'm done in here. Where's the where's the second tube? giving up until I find that second artery. That thing's smiling at me. Beady eyes look at you from within the mound of flesh, and it flashes a big smile at you. Of course it does. These nasty little clots just ruin the ambience here, don't they? I could get rid of them if you like. Just slurp them on down under the blood. Out of sight, out of mind. Just give me the okay and I'll take care of them for you. Nah, you don't have to do that. Ah, it's right here. All right. We did something good. No, 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 no. Well, uh, how'd I do? The w waiting's eyes are closed. He's unresponsive. So that we did a good thing, right? We ended his misery, yeah? Right? Freedom, horrible, horrible freedom, question mark. 
Oh, ha, 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 hi. Welcome, ha, to, um, my slice of the void, ha. I, I'm, uh, I'm the husk? Yeah, the husk. A husk of my former self, ha, <laughs> I'm an artist, if you can believe it. I drew the, this place to make the darkness uh, more cozy, more bearable. <laughs> my art, it's not so good. I, th I think your art is pretty good. My inspiration is, um, gone, yeah. Vanished. My spark? Fizzled. My drive? Dead. <clears throat> Purpose? Lost. Dead? Like me. Lost? Like me. <laughs> <sighs> but uh, that's okay, I think. I, I put, uh, uh, put, uh, put, uh, put a piece of me in um, all my work, so even if I uh, don't make any more, people might remember me still. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I made myself a little sad. I need need some time to be um, by myself. Need to gather my thoughts. But the you can't go in. This is this isn't a none of this is real. Well, even less real than all the other places. I feel like my worth is determined by how often I create my art. When I'm art, when I'm art blocked, I feel worthless. I feel like my worth. Oh. It looks like the husk drew this creature to life. There's an arrow pointing up. There's an arrow pointing right. But I want to go back to the tooth area. It's happy that you're here. Shark. Old Kentucky shark. I'm afraid people only say nice things about me and my art because they pity me. Wait, should I be talking to all of these tumbleweeds? Because when I do, there's a million artists better than me, so why do I even bother drawing at all? Nothing I make will ever stand out. They turn green. wonder what happens if I talk, talk to all of them. My friends! Sometimes I feel like the only friends I have are the ones I've made up. The characters I draw, the characters I write. But I want real friends too. I'm just scared of what they'll think of me. Man, this guy, this person is kind of, kind of a depressing mood right now. Oh! Okay, so work in progress. The more I, the more tumbleweeds I talk, the more this fills up. Got it. My hands shake as I write this, but I must. Wait, it's the seeker. A lost soul calling itself the Grim appeared to me in the Beyond Lands. It was, it was awful. A giant thing of grinning teeth, coupled with the empty, with empty wide eyes. It says it's been watching me with interest and it laughs at my attempts to help the lost. It says it will rel relish my eventual failure and my subsequent descent into madness. Its taunts hold no sway over me. If anything, I am more headstrong in my quest. No, I went to inform the mayor, but the scouts stopped me from entering town. They said that they'll pass on the message, but I am not allowed back in. I think they fear that my time out here is hastening my change. I have my suspicions that they're not letting any of the lost back into town. Oh, whoops. So, something's gonna happen when I talk to all of these tumbleweeds. I want to bring others joy with what I create, but it's hard to do so when I feel miserable inside. It still wants to follow its dreams. Well, you follow its dreams. Go for it. You pet the scribble dog. Oh my god, I can't pet the dog! Its coat feels like TV static. Yay! Go me. Would anyone miss me if I was gone? I kind of think that no one would. Don't talk like that! 
Poor guy. Deep down, it still has hope. You feel like it wants to warn you of something. I'm sure it does. It would not surprise me. God damn. Don't you wish this was you? No face, no worry. What's the worst that could happen if you tore uh, your face off right? Uh, just just like a, take a razor, strip it clean. You'll feel better. What is this place? Don't you remember how embarrassing you were? The lengths you'll go to to feel like a hero. Like your actions matter at all. We've seen every mistake you've made. We'll repay. We'll we'll replay your mistakes over and over and over again. Okay. Damn it, I can't get out. Oh. What the Where's my head at? Isn't it exhausting to lie to yourself? Don't let anyone see you. The gall to think you deserve something better than this. No one has any reason to like you. They'd laugh if they ever saw your face. This is why you're all alone, isn't it? Fix yourself with the plastic. Fix yourself with blood, your eyes, your teeth, your hair, your brain, your skin, your skull, or don't even bother showing your face again. What the hell? Hey, hi. You, you still have your wits about you, right? Then I need your help. Look, no matter what the operator says, you need to break this place down. I do it myself, but I, I, I can't. I just can't. I need to get away from here. I hope I'll see you later the hell? Ahead is one of the newest zones that have popped up in the void. We don't have a name for these souls yet, but they all seem to have a latent anxiety attached to repeated actions or rituals. Despite this, they are surprisingly lucid and conversational, perhaps due to their proximity to the respite. Haha, ha, new visitor, hello! I am the operator, yes, the controlling force of this factory. As the operator speaks, you notice the number on their face shift. Starting at 1, it ticks up at a steady rate. Once it hits 10, it restarts the count all over again. You, you see, I made this factory to keep the void safe, yes. As long as it functions, we'll all be fine. And if it shuts down, if the machines lose power, yeah, I will literally explode. I return with tacos. Hooray, you have tacos. I am so happy for you, Rachel. <clears throat> My limbs will fall off. My skull will break. I'll disintegrate. The whole void will collapse in on itself. But, but, but that, that won't happen because I made this factory. And as long as the factory continues its cycle, we'll all be okay. Haha, <laughs> no need to thank me, really. Oh uh, yeah, how am I liking this? It is very interesting. I'm getting some, some Undertale vibes from this. But I can't help but feel like I missed something along the way. There was one room that I went into, but then I backed out. I noped out of there a little too quickly and now I cannot go back to that room that I think I missed and that's gonna bug me but I am very curious as to what what will happen oh my god not one of these you can definitely back okay that's good I want to back I I'm glad I can backtrack up once down once up twice down twice up thrice down f ah, I messed up the count gotta do it again gotta do it right I hate these things. Back.
back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, side to side. Cha-cha real smooth. Hey, I, I probably shouldn't do this, but I could pop open those locked double doors outside if you want. At least directly to the break room. Just talk to me again if you want to take up my offer. Want to take the shortcut open? Yeah, I don't blame you. It's about time for my breaks anyway. I'll see you over there. Oh, okay. I don't know what I just did, but cool. Wait, there's something down down below. Let me go down here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, didn't realize these were doors. Well, oh, these double doors. Okay, let me let me go back over here. Let me see what's up there. Oh my goodness. I'm going to be sick. I can't tell which button is the right one. Usually I can just feel which button is right, however, when I go to push it, that feeling jumps to a different button. If I pick the wrong one, I'm going to have bad luck for who knows how long. Wait, this button? This panel seems to control part of the factory's power. You try to turn it off, but you can't make sense of the controls. You, you look down at the knife still on your person. I don't- No, 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 I don't want to stab it yet! Oh, okay. That's, that's good, good. Let me- Let me check out this place first. Oh my god. This way. Nope. Uh, this way. The computer monitor shows several camera feeds on the factory deeper within. It seems vast and unending, filled with pointless machines. The computer shows that two panels need to be turned off before the factory's me mechanisms can be shut down. I, I wanna, let me talk to them. There we go. Everything's fine. Everything's okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine, okay? As long as I repeat that three times when I have ba a bad thought, the bad thought won't come true. Okay, then. They're breathing quick and shallow as if they're panicked. Oh, there's another panel. I have to keep retracing my steps until it feels right. Until it is right! Oh, whoops. This is just a storage area of the factory, but there sure is a lot of busy work to do around here, even though a lot of that work is self-imposed. Stabby. You can see a small portion of the factory from this balcony. While there's a lot of movement, nothing seems to be getting done. The plaque before you reads, This factory has gone days without incident. One of the glitch numbers ticks over. So, Rachel, if you're paying attention, uh, what kind of taco do you have? I am curious. I had to lay down because oh no! Oh yeah, I, I got your I got your text earlier. Fish taco, mm. yummy. Can't remember why I'm here, but I know I came with someone from town. But she, but she, she turned into one of these clock people. Why? Why do they act like they work here? They're lost souls, like me, right? I want to leave. Why am I here? 
Uh, mm, sorry you feel like this, but not me. How come all my impulses are always so negative? Why is my brain like, you need to pick up this pencil right now or your wrist will snap? And not, if you pick up this pencil, you'll find $50 on the ground. I greatly prefer the latter, don't we all? And my break starts now. Glad to see the break room is relatively normal. Like a few weeks ago, this weird broken statue showed up in here. It was making this awful humming noise, totally gave me the heebie-jeebies. Picked that thing up and threw it out. No idea where it went, but good riddance. No, no, don't throw away those statues. Wait, teeth. Psst, hey, you got the stuff? The hat, the stuff? Yeah, yeah, the hat stuff? What stuff? I got stuff, but it's not a hat? No? Nah, you ain't got that stuff. Come back with the hat stuff. No, I don't, I don't have any hat stuff. There's some kind of museum here? I don't really understand what's inside it, but I guess I just don't get modern art. A lost... Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. side quests. I've already done a few of them. Oh, backtracking! Hey, whoa, hey, buddy, good to see you. The name's Cheats. Cheats McKenzie. Janitor by day, cheater by night. Hey, whoa, hey, hey, not, not like that, buddy. Cheats is happily married. I'm talking exploits. I'm talking workarounds. I got so many cheats, they're coming out my friggin' wazoo. You want a sense of pride, of accomplishment? Cheats don't freaking care. Cheats don't got time for that. Listen, buddy, if you want to use one of my shortcuts, you go right on ahead. But remember, they're optional. Optional as in you don't got to use them. So don't blame old Cheats if you ruin something for yourself. Well, hey, if you're offering it, then technically it's not cheating, right? It's a picture of the operator. There's stuff I have not done yet, clearly. I just think they're... <laughs> I just think they're neat. <laughs> Wait, what, 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 wait, 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 wait. There's a picture of two skeletons. One's eating spaghetti and the other seems to be asleep. Gee, I wonder who we're talking about here. The image depicts a dubious looking baseball player. Rachel, I can see why you'd be interested in this game now. A picture of a priest who seems a little blue. A painting of wild eyes stare at you from behind some cards. An image of a pal and his best buddy. The last soul is starving. It's worried about you. It wants you to be safe and happy. Well, I definitely know I need to go back to the teeth. The teeth area. Obtain the secret's hat. Sure, I'll take the secret's hat. Wait, the secret's hat? 
Why do I have to see Chris Hatch? But wait a, wait a minute, if I go back, does it mean I have to go through the the other areas just to just to play catch up? You know what, I'm gonna take that chance. Actually, no 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. We need to go back to the pit. I want to go back to the pits. But hold on, we need the right music. Okay. Yes. Praise be the pit. Haha. <laughs> well, okay, can't say that I was expecting that. Didn't, uh, didn't pin you as the type to just uh, jump to your death at the first sight of a pit. But no, I get it. Peer pressure, right? Intense. Especially from pit-worshipping cultists. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just gonna, like, uh, put you back uh, to about where you were, okay? Try not to do that again, please. There's a better ending for you out there. I'm gonna do it again. I, what, didn't I just send you back like a second ago? Hey, listen, pal, this pit business is bad for your health, and probably your mental state, too. Don't, and I cannot stress this enough, jump into random pits you come across, okay? Now, I'm going to pretend this didn't happen and send you right back. We'll meet again, but not like this, okay? Get back on out there, you little self-preservationless rascal. Uh, do I do it one more time? <coughs> hmm. Do I jump down the pit one more time, I wonder? Yeah, I'll do it one more time. Oh! Oh, wait, the change... The dialogue is different. Praise be the pit! Hey, buddy, pal, good old friend of mine. Are you trying to give me a heart attack? Saving you from death is not easy. It takes a lot of energy to keep you from disintegrating in that godforsaken pit. You know what? I'm revoking your pit privileges. It's for your own good. And look, I'm not angry. I'm just... Disappointed. So off you go, then, for the last time. Squaddle up, buddy, and to wait with you. <laughs> Ten more minutes in the in the ball pit, please. Nope, uh-uh. Keep walking. Okay, we're done. We used up our ten minutes in the ball pit. <laughs> okay. Back here. Wait, this is different. Souls with similar mirrors um, grouped together. They shape the void. Void shapes the M. Void pulls from lightened fears and anxiety. It shows you things that you don't want to see. Sorry, sorry, don't feel well. Must write, rest, write, write letter.
Yeah. Some minor backtracking. Is all. Pal, need some help getting back to the respite? No. No, I don't. Not yet. There we go. Okay. Now I feel better. Stay here. No reason to leave. Let me move around. Thank you. Stay here. Stay here with me. There's no reason to leave. Stay here where it's safe. Where it's dark. Where it's familiar. Okay, I have three hearts. That's good, right? It's worried about you. It hopes you're okay. It wants you to be safe and happy. Okay. This is awfully convenient. There's... Hey, you didn't happen to come from a sort of a blood cave, did you? I was stationed at a post in the Weeping Caverns, but suddenly everything started freaking out. The cave filled up with what looked like blood, and these veins popped out and started to uh, assimilate anything they could grab onto. My buddies and I ran in, but in the commotion we got separated. I hope they made it out okay. Uh, sure, everybody's fine. This is fine. Finally, I have a moment to stop and catch my think. Stop and think and catch my breath. I feel so much better here. I feel like myself. I don't want to leave, but I can't stay here forever, can I? Now I can't help but wonder about this. Oh wait, here. I got the hat. <laughs> yeah, you got that stuff all right. Go ahead and wear that stuff. Not in the water though. Hat stuff not waterproof. I got a hat. Actually, you know what? There's one other place I want to go, but I already got the hat. Mm, I'll think about it. Actually, hold up. I'll just make a save state. Just a regular save state right here. And if I change my mind, if, if I beat the game and it feels incomplete, like, oh, you need this to get the better ending by doing all these side quests, then I'll just come back here. I have this nagging feeling that I want to go further ahead into the Null, but 
I've never seen anyone come back from there. That means they <clears throat> either they found a way out of this place, or maybe something something happened to them first. I saw a place exactly like this in my dreams a long time ago. Hmm. I'm not dreaming right now, am I? Oh, whoops. I did not read any of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Soul Void! Congratulations or sorry that happened to you. And How are souls getting dragged into the void? Why are only traumatized souls coming here? I believe the answer must lie with the Grim. A soul so consciously malicious must have a higher understanding of this predicament. I will study it some more. No. I've been feeling a little off in a way that I can't quite describe. I must hasten my research. How did I end up looking like this? Can I revert back to normal if I stay here long enough? Because it would be really nice if I could get my arms back and the taste of burnt teeth out of my mouth. Blech. Even here, the sky is completely dark. But this area is lit up like it's the middle of the day. It's, is, is the sun here invisible or something? Oh, hey, it's good to see you again. Glad to see you didn't get caught up in the factory. This place is so much nicer. Wide open spaces as opposed to that closed-in building. I think I'll stay here for a while. Oh, that's good. There's freshly baked cookies on the table, and a sign next to them says, Please only take one. Happily you oblige. I took a cookie. And now, now I want to eat a cookie. Give, give me... Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to eat a cookie right now. <clears throat> got some got some cookies from some parents for teacher appreciation because you know it's teacher appreciate wait it's teacher appreciation week and I am appreciated apparently I used to be a wandering lost soul myself consumed by darkness and repetitive wandering thoughts but I'm gonna eat this cookie and read the rest, just and silently. Mm. It was hard. I it felt nearly impossible. But little by little, I changed my habits. I regained a part of myself. My senses began to return ever so gradually, and the soul void sprouted this field around me. The Grim seems to be blinded from this place, as it radiates no sadness for it to feed on. Thus, it's become somewhat of a safe haven for those who have found it. As long as I'm here, the field will persist. I will guard it until I have no reason to, to do so, until that awful beast is gone. Oh, God. Something horrible is about to happen. Don't go. I have no choice. Oh, oh, shit! The flowers stop growing after here. They can't guide you anymore. Seeker? You made it here? Listen to me, please. Before I lose myself completely, I escaped it for now, the Grim. But it's hurting me trying to bring me back. Cookie. <laughs> While I distract it, please find it. Its face is just a projection. Its real self is locked away elsewhere. Destroy it, please. You may be our only hope left. I'm sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry for putting you this on you. I should be saving you, not the other way around. I... Wait. Are you wearing my hat? 
Seeker, where are you? I have to go. I'll keep it away from you. We'll meet again, I promise. What is this? Oh god, oh god, oh god, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have done that. They all think I'm an idiot. Just shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! Lost my friend! Scared, don't want to be alone! Friend! Where are you, friend? Oh, it's just the... The friend, lost friend that the museum was talking about. Awful, awful. Just awful. Hate this, hate this, I hate this. Why do I feel so incomplete? Why can't I see? Where is everybody? You should go back to the eye room. What is you? All around the mulberry bush. The leeches chase the lost souls. Talk about your pearly whites. Oh my god, JP. The souls all thought twas all in fun. Pop! Go the lost... Ah, I was drinking water and it splashed into my eye. I'm not joking. I really splashed water right in my eye. Damn it. Ugh. Ugh. There's something missing. It doesn't recognize your pr presence. It merely sobs it to itself. What the? Oh, it's a puzzle. Uh... Oh boy, you obtained a broken frame. Oh. It's a broken statue with an off-putting aura. Oh boy. It knows you can hear what it's saying. It knows you can read its thoughts. Meow 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 meow. What do you think you're accomplishing here? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Return the slab! <laughs> Return the s What the hell? You placed the broken frame. Does that do anything? Waits for a key. Ah, uh, okay. You. So hungry. Ate everything I could find. Still, uh, hey, I have a cookie. You want? You want a cookie? For me? This is like Ib meets Undertale. Oh, I've never played Ib, but I'm totally, absolutely getting Undertale vibes from this game. The lost soul devours the cookie in one bite, though. You're not sure how, since you can't see any discernible mouth on them. Hey, if worms can eat dirt, then why not this, whatever this thing is? Tastes like memories. Memories of home. Memories of a better time. I appreciate your kindness. Thank you. The lost soul smiles, you think. I'm thankful this guy hasn't tried to eat me yet. I'd like to think it's because we're friends, or maybe it's because I'm standing out 
of reach. <laughs> So scared to move. Don't want to upset them. What, these things? Ah! Hate, hate, hate. Hate, 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 hate. Don't give me that look. Ah, so we've entered the player haters ball. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. I don't even know you and I hate your guts. Oh. It's not down, so it's either left, up, or right. Up. I was wrong. Well, gee, I wonder which way I should go then. You obtained a glass bottle. Well, this certainly is not a metaphor, huh? It's amazing how... This is turning into one of the creepiest games I've ever played. And this was made in freaking GB Studio. The hell? Ah, lost friend. Nothing here is so scary. Scared without friend, please. Well, there's someone looking for a friend. There was someone looking for a friend here. Uh... Yeah, we're recording this. I am absolutely recording this right now. You hear the sound of a man talking through a fierce wave of static. Wait, what? Isn't that just Alistair from Hasman Hotel right now? Were you looking for the friend? There you go. Ah, best friend back, thank you. Feel much better when not alone. Well, aren't you a rare sight? A fully conscious, non-mutated thing all the way out here. Who would have guessed it was possible? Call me the leech. Everyone does. Well, by everyone I mean myself, and now you two. Seems appropriate for what I've done. Got time for a little story? Call it a hunch, but I think you might be a little interested. I used to hang around the Grim a long, long time ago. At least it feels that way. I don't know how long I've really been here. As one day might as well be an eternity. But anyways, we met back when we were both new wandering souls. Back before I understood how I had gotten here. Back when both of us still had legs. <laughs> I was, as you can imagine, terrified. I latched onto the Grim as he seemed so confident despite our predicament. I asked him how he kept his composure, even when the other lost souls around us were starting to mutate and lose themselves. He snidely remarked that their suffering was keeping him sane. Man, a Chainsaw Man Game Boy game? <laughs> it certainly looks like that. Must be a crazy good game. Anyway that he was feeding on their misery and growing stronger from it. I was desperate, so I asked him to teach me so I could be strong too. I was so scared of ending up like the lost that I would have done anything to stay safe. And I did. I guess the Grim thought it would be funny to humor me, and so I learned how to consume the suffering soul's negative energy. It was fun for a while, until it really sunk in what I was doing. The pain I was indulging in. 
I had a change of heart, and I made my second biggest, biggest mistake, telling the Grim about it. He ditched me here in this expanse. And since I refused to leech anymore, I finally ended up turning into this. Unfortunately, my mind didn't melt like the others, and I'm stuck with the guilt of my actions. I wish I could make up for what I've done, but I'm stuck here. You, however... The Grim thinks he's strong, untouchable, but he's not. He'll crumble at the first sign of confrontation. But the problem is actually getting to him. He's locked himself behind a door that requires three items to open it. Well, we've already unlocked one. I've got one of the other items. I'm just looking for a key right now. I'd get them and end this myself, but like I said, I'm stuck here. I'm sure you can find them, though. Just look for the breaks in the darkness. Please, break this veil of misery he's made before it's too late. So, I think it's the key. already been in here. Thank you for the not-so-kind reminder. Unclean, unclean, unclean! is on the back of your neck. You feel like someone's staring at you from far away. No. Isn't caring about others so exhausting? Who cares about their feelings as long as you survive? This wasn't worth it. No. No, 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 no. I'm going down. Oh boy. Huh. Uh, nope. Ah, I see. I see. Teddy bear. You've tamed a stuffed bear. Wow! Maybe I should have put up some sort of a... content warning at the beginning. So this is Soul Void? I thought we were entering Bunny Cartoon's Nostalgic Dream? Uh... I don't know if I would... And call this nostalgic, Sir Sailor Mikey. Did we find Bobo? Yeah, we found Bobo. We found parts of Bobo here. We found parts of Bobo there. But I mean, JP did call this a uh, Chainsaw Man game, a uh, Chainsaw Man Game Boy game. So maybe that's sort of nostalgic. You placed the stuff. You placed Bobo. Found the slab and the glass bottle and. Yeah. Disturbing shit. That is very abundant, but I have a feeling that the most disturbing shit is going to be behind that door. So brace yourselves, friends. You have a strong feeling that you won't be able to return once you go through. Open the door. There. Uh, yeah, go through. No. No! No, no, no! I see what you're trying to do. With that damned seeker out of the way, I can focus on my biggest problem. I guess this is a bad time to slam on the easy guarantee button. Beep, beep. You. 
What a pain you turned out to be. Just like you've always been, huh? Well, I don't care anymore. I'll use every last bit of my strength to wrap this whole void in on itself. If that's what it takes to keep you here forever. These pathetic souls are just small fry now. It's you that I want, worm. Just lie down and give up already. Final showdown. Final showdown hype. I don't understand what you guys are saying. Yeah, it might not be worth talking to any of you right now. But yeah, how are you, how are you doing, Mikey? Good to see you. Something could have asked you that. Sorry about that. Yeah, I, why, why am I even talking to any of you right now? It's not going to accomplish anything. Cheap Cheap, I want to talk to Cheap Cheap. What does what does Cheap Cheap have to say? B <laughs> No Bad beeping Oh wait, this is Zero one zero 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 one zero 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 one zero zero one 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 zero one zero zero one 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 zero zero one zero one zero one one zero zero. Welcome to Scuff Toki Toki Literature Club. I'm and and this time I'm forty percent sure. Oh, I okay. I think I get what I get. What's going on now? The Grim is taking me through even more messed up versions of uh, even more worth updated glitched out versions of the previous areas. Like as if the other places weren't creepy enough uh, Grim just made it worse. Except here. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. How is this possible? My... I, I can't fight this corruption for too much longer. Or rather, a creepy pasta version of Cult of the Lamb, and again, and again this time, I'm 40% sure. No, 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 no. This wasn't supposed to happen. The Grim said it wouldn't mess with us if I... Oh, I... It's you. Listen, I did what I had to do, okay? I know I, it was wrong, but you have to understand, I needed to keep my citizens safe. As long as I kept the lost souls out of town and in the soul void, the Grimm said it wouldn't hurt us. I guess that promise means nothing now. I'm sorry, I really am. If we survive this, I swear, I will do everything in my power to help the lost. I mean it. I feel like I'm going to be sick. All... Uh... 3DS? I am 40% sure that that says 3DS. I remember how I died now. The void showed me. I remember the fire, the burning rubber, the explosion, the shards of glass, the asphalt, and onlookers, their cries. My cries? If I didn't jump in to help, maybe I would still be alive? They died anyways. I didn't save anyone. But maybe I have a second chance here. I can save these souls and make up for my past failure. I have to. Oh boy. Why are you so frightened so hard to leave now? Didn't you use to fantasize about this? About being lost in the dark? Where no one would have to look at you again? What's with the change of heart? Go back. Lie down. Dissolve into the nothingness that you are. 
How about no? We really are inside Chainsaw Man. Fine. You've come all this way to see... Oh, shit. So let's have a nice little chat. Okay, before I hit the button... Before I hit the button... How much more terrifying is the Grim going to be? On a scale of 1 to 40. Yeah, let's make 40 a theme. Are we about to see something truly horrific and terrifying? Or are we about to see something totally glitched and messed up? Yeah, that, that face that Mikey posted, uh, the Grim kind of reminded me of that right now. Yeah, I'd say that's about right. Okay. Got my water redeem. <sighs> Stretching, posture checking. Let's brace ourselves for quite possibly the most terrifying thing in this entire game, potentially. I'll tell you all about myself. Okay, Mikey, you were pretty close. I was the first lost soul here. I was headed for the light, but I turned around. I slipped through the darkness and landed in this void. Why didn't I, did I turn around? I didn't want to move on. I wanted revenge. The pain I felt in life. I wanted to make the others suffer. Make others suffer the same misery I had. The longer I stayed in here constantly relieving my pain, the stronger I became. Eventually, I could pull other souls off of their path and bring them here. The hurt. The broken. The weak. They were so easy to pick off. Little did I know, they were the perfect targets. The Void did the hard work for me. And I devoured the end results. There's, there's the face, the other face that Mikey posted. The more they rotted in their anguish, the more I feasted. And the more powerful I became. More and more and more I took. More and more and more I grew. More and more and more they hurt. Oh. Their pain was delicious, and it brought me joy, it brought me strength. But then I thought to myself, why settle for measly old souls? Why not break the living? And guess what? I was just strong enough to grab one living human, so I sunk my fangs into you, worm, and I brought you here. Oh, what a coward you are. What a pitiful wretch. Unworthy of existence. You're sad? Depressed? You hate yourself? Don't make me laugh. You know but a fraction of true pain. I couldn't wait and watch your mind and heart truly die. Feasting on a living human's anguish would make me unstoppable. Omniscient. Omnipotent. I would drag the whole world here and make all of humanity suffer. At least that's what I thought. What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You just had to be so stubborn, huh? You just had to keep going. Even helping others on the way. Even if you got nothing in return. Just give up. Just give up. It's so much easier to give up. Why won't you give up? Just stop. This is definitely worse than Behind the Back Rooms, Content Warning, or Lethal Company combined. Yeah, I was saying earlier that this is one of the creepiest things I have ever played, and it's a GB Studio game. Just stop. What are you trying to prove? That you're better than me? Stronger than me? You're not. You're not. You're not. You're not. You're not. Not you. Not anyone. So turn around. Stop. Stop. In the name of love. Stubborn brat. Fine. If this is how it is, then here I am. No more tricks. No more illusions. Just us. 
Even if you get rid of me now, I, I'll never really leave you. What I've done here, what I've said, it will always linger in the back of your mind. It will control your every thought. So can you really call this a victory? Can you really say you've won? I don't know. So. So Sephiroth rules? Yep, absolutely Sephiroth rules. So, what do you have to say now, girly? What final words will you impart upon me? You take a deep breath and look the Grim directly in his eyes. Maybe I'll never forget what you've said to me. Maybe I'll never forget what you've done here. But it doesn't matter. I'm going home. I'm going to live. You don't get to call this a win. Ha, huh, funny. You're still just a pathetic worm. But you're stubborn, I'll give you that. We'll see how long that lasts. I guess this is goodbye, girly. But don't you forget. When you relapse again, I will fight tooth and nail to come back. And I will drag you back down here with me. Along with all the miserable friends you've made. It's personal now. Enjoy your break while you can. Wait, what? Can you hear me? What, what the hell? Oh, thank goodness. You've been asleep for quite a, quite a while. Surprised to see me, huh? When I came to my senses, I found you passed out not too far away. I carried you back up to town... Picking up, picking up a few lost souls along the way, who filled me in on everything that happened. Don't worry, everything's going to be okay now. You faced it, you, didn't you? The Grim. You were able to chase it out of this place, and with it went, the, went its corruption. Maybe it will come back, but for now, things are slowly returning to how they were. And the veil keeping the lost souls here is lifting, allowing them to pass on. What about me? I'll be going too, eventually. But I'm going to stay behind until I know that everyone else has safely crossed over. Thank you for everything you've done. I know you didn't want to be here in the first place. But thank you for not giving up on us. For not giving up on yourself. The hell just happened? I'm lucky one of the lost found my hat and brought it back to me. It's a little worse for wear, but I'm glad to have something familiar to hold on to. So things are going to go back to normal now, huh? That's good to hear. All of this was just a little bit, uh... Just a little too much excitement for me. Yeah... No kidding. I'm so glad we can all breathe easy now. I wonder how the void's going to change, though, without all the lost souls in it. The Beyond Lands might just go back to being, like, pleasantly weird without all the suffering added. Is it really time to go? Really, really? Did we beat the game? I think we might have. Are we all just gonna, like... Ignore the fact that this entire world was being torn apart a few hours ago. Like, no one wants to talk about it. Everyone's just cool with what happened. Like, am I the only one who's still upset about going through that? Hello? Man, am I glad to have the Void back to normal. Really hope nothing like the Grim ever shows up here again. Okay, we read this. You know the friend I picked flowers with? She was actually a lost soul. I felt bad about her not being allowed in town, so I'd visit her every day, and I'd just hang out with her so she wouldn't feel so lonely. She found the light almost immediately after the Grim vanished, and she moved on just like that. I'm gonna miss her, but I'm glad she can finally rest now. Thank you for that. Now that this whole thing is over with, we won't need all the excess scouts that were hired to man the outposts. I hope I, I get... I, I hope I get keep... I hope I get keep my job, though. Probably meant to say I hope I get to keep my job, though. I like being a scout. Or maybe I just like the uniform and wearing this hat. I like hats. So, it's really over, is it? 
this whole nightmare of a situation. It's over now, thanks to you. Don't worry, I don't plan on going back on my promise. The outpost teams are rounding up all the remaining lost souls and bringing them back to, to the safety of the town, where they can com comfortably wait to pass on. I do feel terrible for what I did, but... Well, it's no use stewing in my regret. I'll take action to fix what I've done and learn from it in the future. If anything like this happens again, we'll keep the lost safe. I promise. Your job is done here, right? Go get some rest. You deserve it. Oh, I just read this. Maybe I can take a creative break now. Yeah, one nice long break without worry for once. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> so happy to be free. Yep, absolutely, JP. This really feels like a strong... <laughs> strong... Strong Shinji moment. Oh, wait! It... Is it? Is that from Casey's? Is that one of Casey's emojis on Twitch? They've been meaning to check out one of their streams, because seems like they play some really have some really neat streams. But I keep missing it. I've been in this void for so long that it feels almost uncomfortable to leave. Is that weird to say? I guess I've become so familiar with this place that going into the unknown seems scarier than staying here, I guess. Hi, I see you. It's going to be okay after all. Of course it's going to be okay. Big Daddy. Ah, uh, little one, I'm glad to see you're safe. Did you find the answers you were looking for? I'm not 100% sure about that. Or perhaps the answers you didn't know you needed? Perhaps the strength you didn't know you had all along? I'm 40% sure I got the answers, I think. Sometimes we forget what we are capable of through the distor distortion of our thoughts. Ah, but what do I know? I am just a projection of the void, bound to its ever-shifting waters. Perhaps if I, perhaps I speak nonsense. It is up to you to put weight to the words you hear. You will carry that weight, they're saying. Stay safe, little one. Be at peace. So wait, we're going back to the beginning? Man, it feels like I've been in a daze. Last thing I remember is making a delivery. Then I suddenly woke up here in my boathouse? But it's completely run down, huh? I think I'll clean up a bit and, and then quit this job. It was a nice distraction for a while, but I think I'm ready to go now. Oh, hey, you're back, and you just, like, completely made my job irrelevant. Neat. With no souls falling down here, I don't really need to greet anyone. But don't worry, the Void sapped me with the, slapped me with a new job. I get to shuffle the lost souls back on their path. Now that they can see the light again, I guess instead of the greeter, I'm the, uh, the goer? The lever? The get out of here -er? Well, actually, no, you're the boss killer because you won't let me jump in the ball pits again. Wow, all of those are awful, but enough about that. You ready to head on out? Uh, I guess so, sure. All right, then, without further ado, on behalf of all this void and all its residents, wake up and don't jump into any more pits from now on. But I want to jump into the damn pit. Praise be to the pits, damn it. I won't be there to catch you in your world. Oh, it was a dream. The computer's been left on all night. Crumpled up notes litter the bin. You no longer plan on adding more to the pile. I paid for ten more minutes, man! You should probably take this cup downstairs. Eventually. It's your phone. There's a text from a familiar name that's been sitting unread for days. 
You didn't have the courage to look at it before, but now... You swipe the screen and open the message. Hey, just wanted to check in with you. Listen, I know you told us not to worry, but it's been a while since anyone's heard from you, sad face. We are worried! More sad faces. Whatever's going on, please know you can always talk to me or any of us about it, okay? You always go out of your way to help everyone else, so let us help you out sometimes too, okay? And I know what you're going to say. One, no, it's not a bother. B, yes, you're worth it. Three, we care about you. If you still need time to yourself, that's fine. I won't push it, but... LMK, if you want to go and get food or something together, okay? Or want to take a walk for some fresh air or whatever. Or if you just want to jump in a call and watch a movie with us. But at the very least, just let us know you're alright, okay? Sorry, I'm totally blowing up your phone right now, LMAO. But I mean every word I said. Hope to hear from you soon, bud. Leave? Leave. You place a hand on a doorknob, but hesitate. You square your shoulders and take a deep breath, psyching yourself up to leave. With a slow exhale and a determined gaze, you open your door and exit your room. Thank you for playing! Soul Void That's it? Okay, then. Uh, Rachel, I hope you're still in here, because, uh... Uh... That, was that a good ending? Did, did, did I do it? I mean, I, I seemingly saved everything and everyone around me. Well, I mean, in any case, uh, yeah, that was Soul Void. That was quite an interesting experience. Emphasis on experience. <laughs> Damn. That's going to be a lot to process there. But I did record enough to fill in a, a single episode of Gauntlet at the very least. And I, I did get a thank you for playing, and I'm going to say it like that every single time. <sighs> There's definitely more to this game, and I definitely intend to revisit this game, just not right now. It is past 10 for me, and I have been working all week. And I got a computer I got to set up tomorrow. So, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna end the stream right here. I'll still call this a, a win for me, but it is unfinished. That much is clear. <laughs>